What's up, my Trend Bagel Vibe peeps? Welcome to another edition of Trend Bagel Vibes. So right now, today, this morning, it is what we call Fantastic Friday. It is Carnival Week. Carnival Week is the week before Lent, which is Ash Wednesday. And well, unfortunately, there would be no Parade of the Bands, which normally happens on Carnival Monday and Tuesday. Well, the Monday and Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. However, however, we do have what is called a taste of carnival here in Trinidad and Tobago and one of these events is Cambole, a play written by N2 Pearl Springer. Now, traditionally, this actually takes place every year, right? Uh, this reenactment of the Cambole riots. But it normally happens down deeper in town itself on Piccadilly Greens. But for this year, they are having it at the National Academy of the Performing Arts here in Port of Spain. So in this one, we're not only going to take in the Cambole at Napa, but we're also going to explore soca concerts here in Trinidad and Tobago during these pandemic times. So last year, 2021, we were introduced to no carnival, but there was, we were still allowed to have a soca concert. Like Kesteban had Is We, which was phenomenal. I didn't realize that in a concert setting, right, people were actually adhering to all the protocols in COVID, social distancing, everybody having a mask and you're actually whining and jumping down on your seat. It was kind of weird and amazing at the same time to see all this happening is we, Kesteban. Another soccer concert that occurred in 2021 is Experience at the Southern Academy of the Performing Arts. That was the epitome of a soccer concert. It was a vibes and the ticket was a hand sanitizer, which is very creative on their part. So big up them and of course, if you come to Trinidad and you come to any fit to end it off, you must have a run to have a rhythm section. Your fit life is complete. All right, so we have to talk about our figures. So as of last year, last year we was getting between 10 and 15 cases per day, COVID-19 positive cases. This year it's 500 or 700 a day daily, so yeah positive cases increasing. However, last year, last year around this time, February time, only 0.01% of our population had the first dose of the vaccine, right? Now we are over 51, we are 51% vaccinated, fully vaccinated and 52% at least have the first shot, booster shot. So those are some things to take in consideration. Don't mind our numbers are kind of high for a small country of 1.4 million people. But anyway, you just saw some vibes last year. So let's go take in a little 2022 concert. Right, we're going to hit one in Movie Town and the next one will be right here behind me, which is the Queen's Park Savannah. This is Irvin Al's ED. He was basically doing four concerts today all, all throughout Trinidad. So this will be interesting. This is last stop, Jack's Movie Town here in Port of Spain. Yeah, tickets were 150 Trinidadian dollars. So this is the first, you know, um, concert-ish event for the season in 2022. Vegas vibes, let me do this. For my non trendy peeps, Jack's restaurants was Ruby Tuesdays before the name change. Anywho, got a table, some drinks, and just enjoying the entertainment. Now, let me give you a taste of Joshua Regalo on part and the vocals of Efren Alves. A taste of Carnival in 2022. <laughs> That was some amazing stuff by Efren Alves and the whole entire cast. And now we're going to head to Vibes with Voicey at the Queen's Park Savannah, the Grandstand. Another epic soccer concert and the first school of it since when? 2020? Yep. Fully vaccinated and it was Vibes. I mean, it's Voice the Artist and a few of us that was just take this to the next level. Now if you made it this far in this video, I want to thank you all for the support and love that you share by clicking that like button. I will greatly appreciate it. Alright, this was how it, the vibes are in 2022. Let's head on over to Napa now for the Cambole. At 5am on a fantastic Friday morning. The thing is, we could not film or record anything because I was a member of the public, I'm not a member of the media. So this here is just what was happening afterwards. So after the whole production finished, the cast and crew and everybody was just celebrating their first production for the season 2022. And it was just a vibe. So in summary, 
right? This production, this display basically shows you all aspects of the people, how life was back then, just before the riots, what happened, and then the actual riot itself. If you visit Trinidad and Tobago around carnival time, apart from the fetting, apart from whenever we go back into the streets, you know, the masquerades, you need to come and check out the Cambole. Yeah, that show, uh, this has been going on from, well, since I could remember. It's just this is the first time I have been able to visit because I guess the timing just worked out perfectly. But that was amazing. And it goes to show sometimes in history, how history is written by the winners in terms of there were certain things that are left out during carnival because like i mean come on when, when we is cool i'm sure they'll tell you you know this carnival was originally the european thing and then we basically take it over as a resistance but it had more to that and this reenactment of the Cambodian right back in 1881 explains all that and it, they did a fantastic job boy that production uh, shot out the Ikea group and shout out Miss Etu Spool Springer for writing and producing that production. I want to say thanks to my wonderful cast, most of them. Such young people get them. Culture <laughs> and the arts are a way of transforming and saving our young people. I don't know when we will recognize that in this society and make proper provision for these young people so that they will be guided and have a sense of self. Let me know in the comments below what you all think about this one. I know it's a little different from everything else, but ever so often, Trinbago vibes bring to you the vibes of the people, the culture, everything I possibly can. I will bring it to you. It is fascinating to learn about different aspects of Trinidad and Tobago. Alright? Anyway, I'll go on. Later. Happy carnival people.